So here is my assignment email. So this is an email template that some of you may have seen, um, but we'll be using uh, every time you get uh, an assignment. There's a point where we may be choosing meetings or I'll be asking for opinion, but then we, when we actually decide, this is kind of the formal way to, hey, you're taking this assignment. Here's all the information you need, you know, reach out if you need kind of support. Um, so here it is. And so this is the city of Fort Collins. Uh, it's a city council meeting. This is gonna be a link to their main page. Um, if there's a contact person, um, I didn't see that immediately available, uh, but I will try to fill that in for everyone as far as like it, if it's the town clerk or they have a board secretary, someone who's an information keeper, um, we'll, we'll put that in there because we wanna build that relationship and be able to know who to reach out to. Name of the meeting, it's just a regular meeting. It's not a special session or a work session um, from the 14th, or I'm sorry, uh, April 18th. So this is gonna be the link to the meeting. And in Fort Collins, they have everything on their own system. So it's not like on YouTube. Uh, so you'll see that interface when we go. So once you get this, um, what we're gonna do is you would reply to this um for this part of it and say hey yep looks good i got it um and just see if you have any questions for me but then you're going to do your research right so we're just going to click around so i'm going to go and i'm looking at the city council's page and see what information i can glean um so if we were going to join the live stream this is their standing link and i have this in, in our assignment sheet for things coming up um, the link to view document meetings. They have a sign up to participate because they try to give people a way to participate in public comment, even if they're not there in person. So that's the avenue to do that, something we wouldn't do. Um, but part of uh, researching and, and these, these uh, pointers are also in the uh, how-to notes and in the, in the pre-research section. Um, but who is on there, right? I actually don't even know. Uh, I watched part of their meeting, but I'm not familiar. Yeah, so just looking and like checking out their names, getting used to hearing that. Um, they're pretty well labeled uh, for the videos there, uh, but that won't always be the case in some of these smaller meetings. So just seeing who's on there, um, familiarizing yourself with that. And then this is also, we'll go back to our, uh, that's where you would look at the agency and get their mission and say, okay, who is this organization and what do they do? Since this is city council, we're all pretty clear on that. But some of those smaller boards, you know, you may have to kind of think about it um, to understand their impact and their, their mission. So let's look at the meeting. So we go to this link and this link goes to their system here and they have their own uh, custom system that includes the video and the meeting packet all in one place. For some other, when you get your assignment, you'll see you'll have to go there separately to find those things, but they have theirs all together. And while they have them all together, this is not time code linked at all. So you have to search in the video just by listening to find where these things are on the agenda. Uh, one tip though, for when you do have something like this, if you want a keyword search, you can always kind of click in the general area and then you can go control F or command F. And this will be um, the, it'll search the, all the text on this page. And this is the way that you can kind of hack your own way to kind of search and find. So I did this to find the item that I thought we would do as an example, which is item 13, items relating to the rental housing program. So that's the one we're gonna work on. And I was able to find it just by going control F or control find on this general page, but they don't have a way to search it within the video. That's gonna be a key difference in the reports that we provide, right? Either if it's audio or video, I would be able to search rental and it would show me the time code when it was mentioned and I could click on it and would go right to the audio or right to the video so I could hear what they were talking about and see if that was relevant. 
Um, so that's how we're trying to make it easier, you know. Um, but they have their own system and some other um, people are on YouTube and that has its plus and minuses as well for searchability and access. But these are all kind of things we're keeping in mind during this pilot because, you know, getting to the information the easiest way is what we're trying to provide for the public and also for our journalism partners. Uh, so uh, first step we've got here. So we're in we're in the agenda, right? Um, so what I would do if I was covering this whole meeting or part of it, I would look through this agenda um, and I would highlight some of the agenda items that I'm gonna take notes about just as a first wave of how I'm gonna organize myself, right? It could change later when I rewrite my notes, but for now I'm gonna focus on, okay, I know I wanna know about this rental program. So I'm gonna open some notes and I'm gonna, um, I'm going to go into my working folder, which we got, which everybody has um, as part of this project. I set you up with uh, some of you with those, um, but this is my folder in that same thing. And I started a couple documents. Um, I have the meeting notes template here for reference, and I have the uh, example. So then when I, once I'm organized, I can use that template to finish my notes. But what I did then for this is all I did is uh, I just copied in what we saw when I did that search of the agenda, right? Items related to rental housing program. That's just gonna get me started. I'm gonna read through this and I'm gonna have the documents that they did to support it. So this agenda is available in advance for the most, for most of them, they'll have this. So you can kind of try to read up. It's also a lot of information to process, right? Um, so we'll do our best, right? Um, but then this is going to give me like my first start of staying like focusing in on some of the information um, and getting that background before I start watching it and trying to figure out what is going on. Uh, okay, so uh, let's look at then the workspace um, when we're talking about um, thinking about the meeting. Um, so this is our meeting notes. Uh, instructions um, and it's divided up by before you begin, when you're on assignment um, and then after the meeting. And so as you take your first virtual assignment, you're gonna wanna read through this document and just kind of get a lay of the land. Uh, some of these things are gonna be summarized in the template, just as like a quick checklist for you. Um, and in that template is what you'll use to type up your final notes and share that back with us um, before we go into the final report mode. Uh, so this, uh, when I give you your meeting assignment, this is attached to it. It's also in our uh, environment linked through the members page, but I'm also just attaching it as a document so you can save it more easily to your desktop and just use it however you wanna do. Um, but as we talked about um, looking at those links and the assignment, that's kind of um, what we're saying here. So organize your information. How are you gonna take notes? Where are my links? You know, those links from the assignment um, where you're poking around and gathering the information about the organization. Um, you're doing your pre-research, right? Following up on those. Um, trying to understand the gist of what is the purpose of this agency. That's why I had us look at those different levels just to get that idea of the impact. Do they are just advising? Would Are their recommendations have teeth? Do they have any budgetary or fiscal authority that makes more impact? Um, those are kind of good things to wrap your head around, but um, time to scale up too, as you cover the same agency, um, you just learn more, right? It's, it's just a learning curve. There's so much depth to get to um, uh, within these government agencies and the lingo and how they're organized and all the different things that they um, deal with uh, in their agendas. So in that vein, it's helpful to just try to write out a description of it in your own words so we know where we're starting. And also people who've never heard about that board when they read your report, that's a key element for them to quickly understand what's going on and why they might care. 
Um, understanding who's at the meeting, like we did, um, viewing the officials who are there, um, uh, getting to know their names, um, and then looking ahead into the agenda and identifying what might be important. So that's what I did. I looked and I was like, oh, this rental housing thing, that, that that's going to be interesting, right? Um, so I flagged that as something to focus on because like uh, you guys have noted, these meetings can be so long, right? So uh, it's fine to talk with your editor, me for the most part, and be like, hey, I looked at the agenda. What do you think about doing this, you know, um, as a strategy to get a story out? So totally open to that. Um, you should also just do a quick little Google search. Um, if you actually do a Google search, there's a little tab there. You can, you know, next to photos, I think it says news. And you can see if the, that agency has shown up in the news lately um, from local papers and stuff, just to see what's been going on. Uh, opinion pieces will show up too. So sometimes that's kind of good to see kind of what the politics might be happening there if you're not familiar. Um, and then just confirm your time and place, of course. We'll talk about this a little bit more, but this is real important that you know your rights, you know your right to be there. Um, you know, any member of the public, we're not sending you to a meeting that is close to the public or that we don't think that you'll be able to record and observe. Um, but there are some that are private. Um, uh, and also, um, uh, just keeping in mind not to record private conversations. Um, you know, depending where you're sitting, you could pick up, you know, that's kind of one of those oops things, right? Um, just something to keep in mind, you know, but we're going to help people to figure out the best way to record what meeting you're at, you know, at the audio at minimum. Um, and so hopefully you're just micing a speaker or you're, you know, you're pointed at the, the table everyone's sitting at, sitting at, and you're not going to get that chatter. Um, and also um, just being obvious that we're recording, not in the way, you know, but just so people know that it's clear, they see that, um, and it's not something that they feel is is uh, uh, inappropriate or that you're trying to be sneaky. Um, and then before you go, of course, just check your email, make sure there's no other correspondence um, from me or that maybe we've sent somebody else to cover it with you and they're gonna come record. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. And so this kind of lays out when you're on assignment in person, a uh, checklist to think about. We don't have to go through all of it. Um, but also of note is that if you do want to introduce yourself, um, it wouldn't be during the meeting, probably. It would be like before if you just wanted to, if it was the clerk or the secretary of the board or something like that. Um, we do have this language based on our partners, the documenters that they use and their nine cities across the states um, to kind of identify themselves. So the basics. Um, the assignment requirements, um, they're outlined here. And then also we'll look at this notes template that has a high level summary of some of these things that go through. Um, you know, and I'm open to whatever your work style is, as long as we can get to that notes document in the digital format, and then we can look at it together and say, maybe we need to reorganize this. What are the bullet points and get to that two paragraph summary and then make the notes readable for people that want to skim over and have a, have a high level summary of what happened at the meeting. Um, of course, hopefully they'll also have a um, whole transcript too to search, right? Because we will be processing the audio and creating a transcript that is a companion um, to the report. I have a question. Mm -hmm. So um, the notes that we take in the actual meeting, is is it supposed to complement the agenda and all the other background information or is it supposed to incorporate it all summarize it all uh no it'd be impossible to summarize so we're going to link to their packet right and the agenda and but we will be using the agenda to focus on you know organizing what they voted on right um and those things um so but the expectation to, like, when these are posted or however you're going to use them uh all that information 
the packets, the agendas, the video, all of that is going to be on the website along yes. with our notes and our write-up. Yes. And then, so what's going to be indexed, I gather, is so what people are going to be able to search for on the website is stuff that we write. Is that right? Um, it'll be stuff we write, but also because we're integrating the Open Media Foundation's platform that is a bit like what you saw in Fort Collins, where there's a the agenda is searchable. Okay. And it's linked to the video. So then we're adding that extra searchability that you can look up a word and and go to and jump right to what was said from the text that's available and then also see it um, in the audio visual file, whichever it is. So we're, we're making a big package. That's why like the notes are part of it, but then there's okay. all these other pieces that I'll be working with you to pull together. But a lot of them are just links, right? That you've already gathered or that were in your media. Right, right. I'm just trying to figure just... out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't want to repeat. So if I do a five hour meeting, the agenda is going to have a lot of stuff on there that I won't need to repeat Correct. in my two paragraphs. And then... Yes, because exactly. Yeah, that information is already there. You know, you right. might need one sentence that explains what the ordinance is. But yeah, what you were looking for is like, what was the debate? What was the vote? You know, mm -hmm. um, what was the decision? Was there an outcome? Is there a next step? You know, that kind of stuff that is not going to be uh, known yet, right? Um, and would be part right. of the minutes, but their minutes probably won't be approved and come out for another month or more, right? So right. We, we won't know. Okay, I see. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good questions. Um, so moving along, we've just got some things to look out for. Uh, some of the things I just mentioned um, too, like um, here's some things to note um, in your notes, like how many people are there, um, time it starts, time it ends. If there's presenters that you've seen in the agenda that you think you know might be of note, just keep an eye on that. Um, if you can identify the, the three big things, um, that's a good way to focus. Um, and then um, who came, uh, what happened during public comment. Um, really important is the member votes um, when people are you know, into final adoption, maybe not first, second hearing, but when they're finally adopting it, usually people will do the debate and give their reasons why they're not gonna vote or yes, they are and then they're gonna do the vote. And so that is usually of interest um, it, uh, to, to news, um, why people are doing what, what they are. Public comment, how many people showed up in some of these smaller communities, you know, five or six people coming to talk about the same issue is significant, that's a lot of people. And so what were their general concerns? If you can't get their names, hopefully we're doing that audio recording, try to get the gist of, you know, their comments. If conflicts of interest are ever disclosed in the meeting packet, keep an eye out for that or during the meeting. Um, those can vary in smaller communities. You know, people are got their hands in a lot of businesses. They might be in government, um, might be family things, who knows? Um, but that's always something to note um, uh, and keep an eye out for. And then of course, executive sessions. Uh, executive sessions can really be a, a, a place that are easily abused, maybe not always intentionally, and we're not trying to have exactly gotcha moments like stop the meeting, that was illegal, we're not going to be doing that during the meeting, but we're certainly going to note it, you know what I mean, and say, hey, they went to executive session and they came out right away and voted, you know, they probably should have had an open debate or asked for public comment, maybe them coming straight out and voting means they already talked about it and they shouldn't have. Um, that was something that should have been in the public, any kind of discussion. And we'll look at some of those reasons um, in uh, one of our training modules from the Colorado Freedom of Information Coalition. He kind of summarizes some of those reasons that are appropriate and not appropriate to go into executive session. Um, so it's definitely something to keep an eye out and make a note um, when it, that happens. So we should definitely say they, they did their, 
from my understanding, you're supposed to have an open meeting first and say, okay, now we're going to go into a closed meeting, an executive session, and this is what we're going to discuss. You talk, you, you have to say what you're discussing, not the actual discussion. And then you go into a closed mm -hmm. meeting. So, because my board of directors just had that very issue. So, mm -hmm. um, then you want us to note whether they followed that procedure or not, whether they were compliant with the law. Like, oh, yeah. well, Did they it. didn't, uh, they just went into executive session without saying anything. Sure. Or yeah, or they didn't give the reason, right? Um, because that's okay. the minimum. And a lot of times they'll give notice already in the board packet if they know they have to talk to their lawyer or go into personnel issues. But sometimes things come up on the fly of discussions and they're like, oh man, we need to go talk to our lawyer before we say any more. And so they can go into ad hoc executive sessions too. And so yeah, okay. something to keep keep an eye out for. Um after the meeting, you're going to revise your notes and um, how complete they are. And so this is the process we'll kind of go through together after you do your first note taking, because it is a lot. There's a lot of topics happening. Um, and so these are just some things to keep in mind. Uh, initial reviews about accuracy. Um, by the time you're ready to process your notes, um, we should have a, a transcript done if you did audio because I can process that transcript in just a couple hours. Um, so it'll be a way to verify what happens um, for a first hit before everything gets fixed up. Um, and then also we might consider those section headers I talked about reorganizing them in a way for when we're ready to publish the notes, they're a little bit more readable for the people who are trying to get a gist of, of what happens and what's important. Um, and so those are some suggestions there from our partners uh, at Documenters. Um, summary and follow up, you're going to, you know, give me some bullet points, um, see what the big things were, Do you have any follow up questions, things that you don't understand, you can note those. Um, and then this goes through the process after right, you're going to submit your notes, your supporting documentation, you're going to ping me um, and say, hey, let's meet, let's look this over, and then we're going to work towards getting to that final report together. Um, there's also some examples here. Um, from the documenters. Um, some of them read like a screenplay when they open. It's nice. Um, the scene they set, um, but we don't have to set our expectations that high. We're just right now starting with good, accurate reports um, and getting those facts together. So to kind of wrap up the assignment and kind of the pre-research, these are the links and the resources that you'll see that comes through in this meeting assignment. Um, those are those documents that I said that would come with it. Um, and then uh, the job description again, to remind you of the, the relationship and, 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 and like the standards of behavior when you're out covering the meeting, just so keep that in mind. Um, but that will be the process for that. 